So this is for homework help on um, Unit 4, Objective 2, which is 6-2 in the Pearson book. And I am on page 435, so page 435. And then we're going to take a look at question number 7. So the directions are to divide and simplify. So I'm going to rewrite this as a radical, um, or one radical. And then my fraction is 48x to the third all over 3xy squared. So I can combine it <coughs> as a fraction under a single radical. And so then I'm going to divide. So 48 divided by 3 is 16. I have 1x that is going to take away one of these. So I have 3 here, and then 1 is going to take away. So that would be um, x squared. And then there's no y's to reduce, so all over y squared. So here the square root of 16 is 4, the square root of x squared is x, and the square root of y squared is y. And so if I go back and I look here, x cubed, that means it's an odd power, so x has to be positive already. So I don't need absolute value around that x. Here the y squared is y squared to begin with, so y um, could be positive or negative, so I need absolute value around here. So y was originally an even power, um, so therefore needs to be absolute value. Okay, so that was number seven. Okay, and then let's take a look at um, number 14. Okay, so here for question number 14, um, this is a negative number, so I can't multiply these together because this would be imaginary. So this cannot be simplified, okay? And then number um, 16, let's take a look at 16. So I'm gonna rewrite it as a single fraction first. And then I'm gonna divide, so 21 divided by seven is three. I have 10 x is being multiplied and five x is being multiplied. So this will reduce 5 away from here. So 10 minus 5 is 5, still under the radical. So now I'm going to rewrite. So I can't simplify um, 3. It's just 3 times 1. But this is an odd power, so I want to split 1x off. So I don't know the square root of 3. Square root of x to the 4, so take half of the power, so 4 divided by 2. And then I don't know the square root of x, so I'm left with 3x to the first. Okay, and then let's take a look at number 27. So let me get a piece of scratch paper here. So for 27, these numbers are pretty small, so I'm just going to multiply. So I'm going to have a 3 times 1, so that's 3. And I'm going to add my powers. Oops, wait, I still have a 2 here. So 2 times 1, so that would be a 2. So everything under the radical now is what I'm combining through multiplying. And then when I'm multiplying the exponents, I add my powers. Because it says I have five x's being multiplied, and then there's seven more x's being multiplied, so altogether I have twelve x's. And then here I have five y's being multiplied and six y's being multiplied, so altogether I have eleven y's being multiplied. Okay. And so now um, this is an even power, so I can um, just divide that by 2, but this is odd, so I'm going to have to split one off of here. 2 can't simplify, so I'm going to split 1y off. So I haven't done any simplifying, I've just done rewriting at this point. And so now um, I don't know the square root of 2, and I can't break it down, so I'm going to take half of my exponent here, so that would be, I still have a 3. So half of 12 is 6, half of 10 is 5, and then I can't take that square root. So then I'm left with 2 and y. So that's 27. 
And then let's take a look at number 30. So for number 30, I just want to distribute. So I'm going to multiply root 5 with root 5. So that's the square root of 25, or 5. And then 15 times 5. That would be 50, so 75. So root 5 times itself, and then root 5 times root 15. So these don't have to be the same to multiply. And then 5, I know 75 is 25 times 3. The square root of 25 is 5, and I don't know the square root of 3. And I can't add these together. Okay, so that's unit 4, objective 2. And then let's take a look at some of the worksheet 2 problems as well. Okay, so let's do um, about question number two. So this is unit four, um, worksheet two, question number two. So these numbers are pretty small, so instead of simplifying first, I'm just gonna multiply. So eight times six is 48. I have one, two x's, and y squared, okay? So I know because x is an odd power, x can't be negative, right? Otherwise, this would be imaginary. So I know x has to be positive. But y could be positive or negative. So I'm going to need the absolute value here, but not here. So 48 is 16 times 3. And I don't need to split off an x or a y because I have an even power. So the square root of 16 is 4. I don't know 3 x squared, again, I normally would say it's absolute value of x, but this case it doesn't have to be absolute value because it's x to the first here, not x squared. x to the first, not x squared. So originally it was not x squared. But y squared, right, was in the original problem, so that has to be absolute value of y. And then the only thing I don't know the root of is 3. Okay, so that's question number 2. And then let's take a look at question number um, six. So let's take a look at six. So I'm just going to go ahead and reduce because these numbers are pretty small. So I can divide four and eight by four. So four divided by four is one. And then eight divided by four um, is two. that. So 4 over 8 is 1 half, and then I have the square root of 12 x cubed y to the fourth over x squared y. Okay, so this is 6. And then now I can divide my fraction. So I still have a 1 half here. And so I have 12 divided by 1, which is 12. And then x cubed, x squared, so subtract my power, so 3 minus 2 is 1. And then y4, y to the first, so 4 minus 1 is 3, so that would be y cubed. Okay, so there's the dividing part, and now I'm going to break up my 12. 12 is 4 times 3, x to the first, and then y cubed, I want to split one of the y's off so that I have an even power. And then now I'm going to go through, after I did the rewrite, to square root whatever I can square root. So I don't know the square root of 3, or x, or y. So then I have 1 half, the square root of 4 is 2, the square root of y squared is y. It's not going to be absolute value because it wasn't originally y squared. And then these I don't know the roots of. And then here, I know 1 half times 2 or half of 2 is just 1, so that's just 1y or y. Okay, and that's it for objective 2.